You're gonna walk and talk. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna walk and, walk talk. and talk. Walk and talk. <laughs> Just be careful because you're gonna like think that John and I are gonna fall down. I got my chai. Mine's in the car. <laughs> Hi to Chai and Chat. We're walking and talking. And talking and, and walking. And, yes. yes. We are in Great Basin, and I will show you in just a minute. Um, but we thought we'd come down to this beautiful fence and talk about Do Hard Things by Steve Magnus. Um, kind of representative of this fence is kind of breaking down how you force yourself to do certain things. There was a cattle guard, <laughs> so we had to concentrate for a moment. So anyway, I'm going to pan all over and show you all this very thick fence. And in the book, he talks about kind of lighting yourself, um, making yourself feel confident in yourself and trusting what you're going through. So they start by spending 15 minutes in a room alone and watching individuals go into like flight or fight mode. And it's just crazy. And then lengthening that. And then he talks about Victor Frankl's book. Um, oh shoot. I'm going to forget. What was it? We read it last year. Oh, yeah. Um, Man's yeah. Search for Meaning. There yes. it is. And so he had actually written his whole entire manuscript. It was sewn into his jacket, which was, of course, as he got into the concentration camp, taken from him and ruined. And so a lot of people would have thought your purpose for living was then gone. And he said, no, this this is my purpose. And he actually then got to scientifically um, see if what he had come up with was true and correct and it was and so just watching that um kind of unfold was pretty cool so interesting book way more scientific than i thought it was going to be yeah. uh, a lot of research very interesting fascinating facts so i enjoyed it what about you i did i enjoyed it too um let me see one figure my one of my favorite ones because it's in the sporting realm which I <laughs> yes. was the greg uh, popovich the san antonio spurs coach oh he yes would hold these teen dinners and he would plan it out he would put effort into it they'd have the nice food and wine and everything and the guys would come and they would they loved it they would spend like three hours at the dinner table all the whole team he would mix it up so they all get to spend some time and so once um he had done a report on it or whatever, and they had followed that. Other teams tried to do it, and it failed. Miserably, because, right? Yeah, they, Miserably. they wanted nothing to do with it. They didn't want to hang out together and stuff. So, And I think it was, they were proving the point is that how much Popovich put an importance onto it. And it he was this like showing, passion. this is important for me and you guys to get, you know, to be able to get along and be a team. And, you know, the Spurs have had pretty great, good great yeah, success. Great success. Yeah. So, I like that part. <laughs> well, here comes the rain, so let's tell them what they're reading next week, and next, we're going to go get warm. Next week is Take Back the Game by Linda Flanagan. Ooh, sports book. Sports oh, John gets a book. I get a book. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you later.